we are going to demonstrate the recommended technique for graft preparation for the autograft tissue compression system, or biceps smash, for use in the cuff mend rotator cuff augmentation procedure. To prepare the graft, you will need the compression plates, the MGS press, four sutures, a fiber loop suture, a zero fiber wire, a tiger link suture tape, and a fiber link suture tape, and a graft spreader. Additionally, a mega loader can be helpful for the loading of the graft spreader. For the graft, harvest the biceps tendon through either a super peck or sub peck approach. It is recommended to harvest at least 40 millimeters of tendon. Once the graft is harvested, remove and discard approximately one centimeter from the labral attachment point, since the tissue in that region tends to not smash well. Then, cut the graft to 27 millimeters in length. The cut tendon can then be placed into the bottom well of the compression plates. Place the cover plate on top and load the plates into the press, rotating a quarter turn until the plates are locked into place. Rotate the handle to provide compression until the indicator line is at max. After a minimum of four minutes, the plates can be removed from the press. The graft will be approximately 22 millimeters by 27 millimeters. If the graft is stuck to the top plate, move it to the bottom well to allow for easier suturing. The plates have four holes for suture passage. For the medial sutures, a fiber loop can be used. Cut the thick part of the fiber loop off and use the Keith needle to pass one end of the suture through the corner of the graft. Remove the needle and thread it onto the opposite end of the suture. Pass the other end of the suture through the graft, creating a mattress stitch. Both passes of the mattress stitch will go through the same hole in the compression plate. Repeat on the opposite medial corner of the graft with the same Keith needle, but now with the zero fiber wire suture. Using the same Keith needle, the fiber link suture tape is passed through the corner of the graft in a mattress configuration. Repeat on the opposite corner of, with a tiger link suture tape If the surgeon is not yet ready for the graft, it is recommended to place the graft in the plates and place under some compression to help keep the graft shape. Additionally, some saline can be added to keep the graft hydrated. When the graft is ready to be loaded into the graft spreader, remove the top plate. The fiber link suture tapes can be cinched into the plates. Remove the medial stitches from the plates and pass the sutures through the distal ends of the graft spreader. Cleat the sutures into the handle of the graft spreader in a crisscross configuration. Remove the lateral stitches from the plates and cleat straight down into the handle on the graft spreader. The graft is now ready for insertion.